A new pictures and video uh, today as Ukrainians are desperately trying to flee their country. More than 1.4 million have left. Up to 4 million will probably leave over the next two weeks. So far, we are seeing that they are allowed to go and mostly are welcomed in Poland while supplies last. This is the largest humanitarian crisis in Europe since World War II. Joining us right now is Alexandra Usinova. She's a member of the Ukrainian parliament. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. You're coming to us from Washington, trying to make sure that Washington knows what you need. What do you need? So first of all, and that's what our president was saying today to the Congress, we need the protection of our sky, because that's the only thing that can help save us thousands of deaths of civilian population and children. So far, there was no support in this sphere, so we keep begging for the no-fly zone, we keep begging for the mix that are there in Poland, in other countries of the uh, Warsaw Pact. But unfortunately, there has been no proof from the United States for them to be given to Ukraine. We can fly them on our, by, uh, by ourselves. We have enough pilots. But uh, we need this mix to fight and to put down the Russian airplanes. We also need the protection, something like the Iron Dome that Israel has. So we can shoot the missiles com coming from Belarus, coming from Russia. Right. and targeting our civilian objects. So they're targeting the orphanages. They're targeting the children's I hospitals. Know. And unfortunately, we need to get them back. So we need literally something like an Iron Dome or the air defense system but, that can stop these missiles coming but to Alexand our civilians. Uh, Alexandra, I don't see that happening. But what is practical is you have 30 countries rushing in, got some proof today that the arms are coming in. The no-fly zone won't happen, but there's some positive developments on the MiGs. Tell me uh, right now, what is the situation in your country uh, with this war? Do you have it's time on your side or on Russia's side? So far, to be honest, it's been on, the, on our side because as long as I know, the world was giving us 24 to 48 hours and they thought that my country would go down. Well, we didn't. And we keep fighting and trying to get the cities back, the, the control of the cities back, and Kyiv is not going down. But again, I understand that uh, nobody right now is willing to talk about the no-fly zone, but the air defense system that are there right. could be provided to Ukraine. And this is exactly what we need to save the civilian population. Right oh, now. Alessandra Usinova, thanks so much. Keep fighting. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.